Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am cleaning out the broom closet at my grandma and my mom's house. Here is a view for you of everything that is on these shelves. It has been quite a while since this was cleaned out and I think closets are so much fun to clean out. So stick around and watch me work a little organization magic. As you guys can see, this is a really narrow hallway and there wasn't a ton of room for me to have bins here. So what I did is I created zones with different categories of things as I went along. And the nice thing is that I ended up finding some bins in there that I didn't know we had, which made my job a lot easier. Something that I have to remind myself of often is to stay in the space that I'm in. If I go off to another room, and really I think for anybody, if you go off into another room, you are going to get sidetracked. So try to just create your piles within the space you're working in. Away. 
as I was cleaning, I found this bottle of whiskey that someone must have given to my grandpa for his birthday, and it made me smile to see it. We are done emptying the closet. I'm going to show you guys all the categories that I put everything in. Um, didn't plan super well because I don't have bins, and there's puppy noises in the background, so you're going to have to excuse that. But... Uh, my mom bought a food saver a while ago, so I went ahead and put all the food saver stuff in one spot. Tools and light bulbs in another spot. I've got bins that I found as I was emptying. Linens. Party. Holiday. <sighs> cleaning. Bathroom. Dog stuff vases, reusable bags, and shopping bags. Here's the empty closet. I didn't do this top shelf. I don't want to totally reinvent the wheel and this is all Christmas. Then I found that there's a light in here that I think we all forgot existed because this got shoved behind a bunch of boxes. So that's what it looks like empty. I'm going to clean it out and start figuring out how I'm going to stage everything. To be clear, all of the bathroom, like medical supply, all of the scent sprays, like that, that's all going to have to go in this bathroom cabinet, which I'll figure out maybe a little bit later, maybe in the next video. Um, but that is not going back in that cabinet.
it is gorgeous. That is really good. I found a light up here. I didn't realize that we had a light in this closet. Yeah, I knew because because it's your I house. Did most of it at one time. But, yeah. Uh, oh wow, it's really really good. So I went ahead and put all the light bulbs in this bin. I put all of the scent bottles in here. I was going to put them in the bathroom, but I just didn't have enough time, or enough space rather. Uh -huh. And then I've got cleaning supplies up here. I've got all of the Swiffer supplies in this bin. Dog stuff. An empty, mostly empty shelf. I put some Kleenex right here. And then... Wow, great. Trash bags. I hung up all these other cleaning tools, so it's all done. Oh, great. Thank you. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some inspiration for cleaning out your broom closet with little to no staging tools because you really don't need them if you can come up with a system that is sustainable. Uh, stay tuned for next week when I show you guys what I did with the bathroom. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys. Bye. Before I'm doing that